I did have a few things that I bought on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year at the end of Valentine's Day and I forgot that I had them and then when I was going through some totes I found them so I was like why not just put them out and do a video for you guys on how I would decorate simply for Valentine's Day and in this case I spent no money because I bought everything on clearance last year but I'm sure that as always um, Hobby Lobby will have 50% off their Valentine's Day decor. So even if you had to buy a few things, you know, Hobby Lobby is your place of choice. So I just wanted to welcome everybody. How are you guys doing? How's 2022 doing for you guys? Here it's been a little bit of a struggle, but you know, you get through it and we're good and we're, everybody's in good health and you know, that's the bright side. You know, we have parents that are older, so you know, it's more my parents than his, but um, so we're dealing with a few things there, but everybody is in good spirits. And so I thank God for all of that. And for all of you, you know, my channel is growing and that's because of you guys. And I so appreciate each and every person. And I invite you guys to share my videos, share my like to know it app, share my Amazon storefront, share, 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 <laughs> just share, share away. Um, I'm really trying to grow everything and really put my best foot forward and really, you know, just want to become my own boss sometime, sometime, you know what I mean? I just want to work for myself and you guys are making it possible. So thank you. Um, also don't forget, uh, any comments, questions, I'm going to put a whole bunch of links at the bottom in the description box. So if you guys are looking for anything, like my shirt will be in there, things like that. Sorry, that was my cat growling at a bird. Did you hear that? Um, so anything that I wear in the video from now on, because you guys have asked, so I will definitely link it below for you guys. It's a really pretty green satiny shirt I got from Amazon and I love it. Dress it up or down, you know the thing. <laughs> so, but anyway, so I, again, didn't spend any money and I just used the few things that I have. It's not decorated to the nines. It's not, you know, ready for good housekeeping, <laughs> but it's what I had and it's what I'm gonna use. And I'm really trying this year not to buy a whole lot of decor to kind of rearrange things in my home, use, you know, for my personal stash, if you will, of decor and just try to decorate my home that way. I mean, there's always going to be a, something that you're going to need or you're going to have to go out and buy. But for the most part, I really want to shop my house first. And then if I need something, I'll go get it or I'll look for the best price and then I'll go get it that way. And I'm trying to real in the spending a little, if you will. I'm just one of those people like, oh, look, I have it. I love that. Oh, let me just go buy it. But I'm trying to reel myself in. So anyway, let me turn you guys around and let me show you the few simple touches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything. And then um, a little bit later on, when my husband gets home, you know, we're going to put a fire on and I'll light all the candles. And then I'll give you the overview of the living room decorated for Valentine's Day at night with a fire, with the candles. So you guys can just see kind of like the romantic, it's probably going for a, more, a romantic vibe. So I wanted to show you that. So stay to the end so you can see it all lit up at night with a nice fire. So let's get started. Let me show you what I did. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna start with the coffee table. And I bought this tray from Hobby Lobby last year and I had it tucked away. Truthfully, I forgot I even had it. <laughs> so I brought it out just to kind of change things up. I had these um, little red hearts that I got last year also. So I just grabbed one of my thrifted bowls, kind of put the hearts in there for Valentine's Day. The remote, <laughs> not Valentine's Day worthy. Um, and then I had this that I also got from Hobby Lobby last year. It's just a little candle holder. It has a little votif in it. But I thought for Valentine's Day, just with kind of the red hearts and the sparkle. And then at night, this looks really pretty when it's lit, which at the end of the video, you'll see it lit at nighttime. And then I left the um, vase I had and the greenery. So I didn't even change that. And then if you guys were ever looking for a good dupe for the Capri Blue Candle, this is it. It's the um, Red Lava and Citrus, better, I think it's Better Homes and Gardens. Yep, at Walmart. $14 smells exactly like it. 
And also these little tops here, I got those from Amazon and they come in a set of two and I'll link them down below. But if you put those on your candles, they burn your candles evenly. So you never have an unevenness. They just burn all the way down. And I thought it was kind of festive because it was red. Kept the same runner, the coasters, everything else stayed the same. It's my little cat's ball over there. Ignore that, I didn't see that. So this is just a little overview of the coffee table. Again, just a few minor little touches and I spent no money. Okay, so the mantle is what got the decor this year. So I kept the same vase, the same greenery, and I just added in some faux red flowers that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. And I added this candle that I got on one of my thrifting finds, or I think it was at an antique store in Rhode Island. But I put that on the mantle with just an LED candle. And I think it looks very Valentine's and very festive. And then down here, I just put a little red candle in my antique candle holder and the same Hobby Lobby wooden beads. So again, all things that I had. And then up here on the mirror, I had this love banner again from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I just tacked it on to my mirror and then I just added the white beads just for a little something else to put on there. It looked kind of bland with just the little sign. So I just took some anti the antique white beads I got from Hobby Lobby, excuse me, and I just added them with the sign. And then over here, in this little corner, I have the vase that I made. And then these were the flowers I bought from Amazon at Christmas time, and they were in our Christmas tree. So when I took them out, I just put them aside and figured I would use them for Valentine's Day. So I just changed out the vase. I kept the books. I added a little greenery ball right there. And then the candles. Let me step back so you can see the full overview. So that is where the majority of the Valentine's Day decor went. And again, all things I had, it didn't cost me anything to do. And everything else pretty much stayed the same. So those were only the little Valentine's Day touches I had. Were that, sorry about the ring light still there. And then just everything on the coffee table. Just a few little Valentine's Day touches. And I will be back in a few minutes when it's dark. We start a fire and then I will show you the rest. And I wanna take you there. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody. you for 
gonna take you there Oh